Hi and welcome! In this screencast we will be going over the brush tool, pencil tool, eraser tool, and clone stamp tool in this image editing program. So first we'll start with the brush tool. To access it on your toolbar on the left you'll click on the brush tool and it will open this little menu that pops out and you'll click on brush tool. Or you can press B um, on your keyboard and it will swap between the pencil and the brush tool. So the brush tool is a basic artistic tool. It lets you draw strokes with the foreground color, which is this top green color right here, onto an existing layer. And at the top menu with our brush tool, we have options for the blend mode as well as the opacity of the strokes, as well as the size and hardness of the brush. So I'm going to make a new layer over in my layers palette by clicking on this little piece of paper looking icon that says new layer when I hover over it. And that way when I use the brush tool, um, it will be on a new layer. It won't be on my picture background layer here. That way I will be able to turn on and off this layer and I won't be making permanent changes to this picture of this couple here. So first I'm going to make my brush uh, nice and big so you can see it. I'm going to increase the size and I'm just going to start drawing away. I've got this nice green color. Oh, and I've got some different options that have happened with my brush tool. Um, right now it's scattering quite a lot, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to go up to Window Brush and I'm going to turn off my color dynamics. I'm going to turn off Scatter. I'm going to turn off Tip Dynamics and tip shape looks good to me. So all of those options, tip dynamics, scatter, color dynamics, had made my brush scatter around. It had made the colors uh, vary in darkness and lightness of that green. I don't want that to happen. I just want a regular circular brush to show that I can draw with this brush tool. Great. Perfect. Now to close this brush menu, I'm just going to right click on the tab and I'm going to press close. Now you can see I've been drawing on my layer one over here. I can turn that layer on and off with this eyeball that I click in the layers palette. So that's my brush tool. Pencil tool, I'm going to use that. I'm going to change my foreground color so you can see the color difference. To change that color, I'm going to click on that green and I'm going to come over to this color picker. I'll pick a nice blue color so you can see it and I'll press OK. I'm going to hit B on my keyboard. That's going to switch me to the pencil tool. You can see the, the keyboard shortcut right next to the name. So pencil tool and remember I can hit B to go back to the brush, B to go back to the pencil. Pencil tool is very similar to the brush tool but it creates sharp edges. So when I use the pencil tool is thinner and it creates sharper edges. I'm going to just show you this really quick. I'm going to drag in this screenshot so you can see the pencil tool. You can see the brush tool on the left is smoother. The pencil tool screenshot is on the right. It's much sharper and so the pencil tool is for crisper uh, free-handed lines and the brush tool is for smoother free-handed lines. Okay, let's move on to the eraser tool over on our toolbar. So I can hit E on the keyboard or I can click here and it's going to take me to the eraser tool. Now up here I can adjust the size of my eraser. I can make it big, I can make it small. You can see when I make it bigger you can see how the brush outlines, the brush of the eraser outlines get larger, the circle gets larger. You can see that a little bit more clearly when it's right there. So I can make my eraser big. I can make the edges of the eraser softer or harder depending on what I'd like. And I'm just going to click and hold down. I'm still, I've still got layer one selected over in my layers palette. And I'm just going to click and hold down and it's just going to act just like a nice eraser. You can see the edge is nice and hard. When I zoom in, I'm pressing control plus on my keyboard to zoom in. It's zoomed in on this picture, but I need to get up. I'm going to press the hand tool on my toolbar or H on my keyboard and I click and hold down and I can use that to drag myself around on the canvas. 
So you can see that the eraser brush left a very hard edge. I'm going to go back to the eraser tool by pressing E on my keyboard or clicking on the eraser in the toolbar. And I'm going to see what happens if I make that edge just a little bit softer, maybe down to 50% or 44 looks good. Now watch as I erase. Ah, you see, the edge is not hard, it's soft, it fades from hard to see-through. So you can see the harder edge over here on the left and the softer edge over here on the right with the eraser. I can also change the opacity of the eraser, which is how see-through the eraser is. So if I change it to 50%, when I erase this dark green line here, it's only going to erase it halfway. It made it only a little bit lighter, 50% lighter. It erased it at 50% strength. Okay, let's turn off layer one and work on our background layer. Let's demonstrate the clone stamp tool. So right here, the clone stamp is, uh, looks like the stamp. I can hit S on my keyboard to get to the clone stamp. What the clone stamp does is that it lets us copy the content from one part of the layer onto another part. So first, we figure out what we would like to clone. So maybe I would like to clone some of these branches over here on this tree and put some more branches up here. I don't know. It sounded like a good idea, right? Okay. So first I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave it at 88 and I'll leave it at hardness 100 for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a source point on the image. I'm going to select this by pressing the and holding down the Alt key on my keyboard. So I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to click. That now is the source point. That is where I will clone. You can see now that the brush has taken uh, the clone source and made it as part of my brush. Now I simply click somewhere else on the screen, hold down. Oops, let's see. Am I clicking the wrong thing? Let's see what's happening here. Let's try that again. Get my source point. Why isn't it working? Ah, I've made the critical error. You will probably make this error a lot in your beginnings in image editing. I'm on the wrong layer. Look over in my layers palette. I turned off layer one, but I still have it selected in the layers palette. So technically I'm still on layer one. I just can't see it. I need to be on my background layer. So I'm going to click on my background layer. I'm then going to select my source point, Alt, click, and then I'm going to click and hold down. And you can see that I'm painting on according to the area where my source point was. I've cloned that area and now I'm painting a new area on. You can see that the edge of my brush is quite hard. It makes for a very harsh clone. Um, I'm going to adjust that down to maybe 40% and let's try it again. You can see the edges of my brush are fuzzy now. They might blend in a lot better. So if I grab that source point and I start painting here, uh, you can see it blends much nicer in with the sky around it and I can clean that up later. And just put those new branches in and it looks pretty good. Not quite natural, it might need a little bit more cleaning up, but it looks pretty good.